God, our Creator, understands our being. He knows our structure, our frame. He knows our weaknesses, where we are weak and where we are strong. The Bible allows a widow to be pre-married or to have another husband. After all, there will be no problem in the resurrection of the dead. Why do I say it? If in the resurrection, the first husband of your mother will be resurrected, your mother will be resurrected. Now, if she marries again and they both die again, then all of them will be resurrected. The same question was asked to our Lord Jesus Christ by the Sadducees in the book of Matthew, chapter 22. Let us read verse 23. The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the Scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. That is the answer of the Lord Jesus Christ. The question is that, there is a woman who had been a wife of seven men. They are asking a question. In the resurrection, which of the men, seven of them, will be acknowledged as the husband of the woman? The Lord Jesus Christ said, You err, because you do not know the Scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage. But they are like as the angels of God in heaven. Therefore, there is no problem even in the resurrection when your father will be resurrected and your mother and the second husband. There will be no fight there. There will be no jealousy there. Why did you marry another man, etc.? No, because there will be no more marriage in the world to come in eternal life. We will all like be angels and are children of God because we are children of the resurrection. Let us read that in the book of Luke chapter 20 verses 34 and 36. And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. That is what the Lord Jesus Christ teaches us. In the resurrection, there will be no problem. Your father will not be fighting with the supposed to be husband of your mother if she marries again. And I think you do not have to grieve or to feel anything untoward your father-in-law to become. Because you see, as I told you earlier, God, our Creator, understands our being. He knows our structure, our frame. He knows our weaknesses, where we are weak and where we are strong.